Hi everyone, welcome back to LA Noir. Um, just to let you guys know where we're at, we are in the middle of an investigation for uh, the disappearing of this uh, this man, someone's, uh, I forget what her name is, but the husband, he went missing, but there are a lot of clues um, that also kind of point to this bar here. And before we question the wife, we are just going to go to this bar and see what that gives us, if it's any useful information. So, uh, yeah, welcome back, and let's continue. Can get a bowl of that chili? You looking for someone? LAPD. We're looking for any known associates of Adrian Black. Adrian? He's your most nice with Frank Morgan. They camp out the table in the back and talk on a closing. Frank's back there now. Hmm, so he looks like a regular. Where's that goddamn waitress? Frank Morgan? Who's asking? Was it this, this guy? Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. We found Black's car, abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. I, I, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good no, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. No, that sounds like BS. I want to say doubt. I think you were. Oh, okay, right. no. You drove down there and you let Black have it. That's wrong. Ooh, I'm a bad boy. That the best you got? Oh, dang it. When did you last see Adrian? Hell, I don't know. Uh, I had plenty to drink last night. Things are a little sketchy. Okay, that's a lie. You're lying, Morgan. What happened to Adrian? I have ten guys who say I was here the whole night. You think you can prove I was there? Uh... Okay, no. Sorry. My mistake. So then doubt, because, uh... Doesn't look like he's telling the truth. If he was on his way to meet oh, you when it. he went okay, missing. My bad. You're gonna have to do a lot better than I don't recall. He had a couple and then left, I guess. Maybe he had to go meet someone. That's the best I can do. This doesn't add up, Morgan. Your excuses don't help. Let's see how you enjoy the LAPD taking an interest in your life. You want my opinion? We tell Morgan. I say he's lying, and whatever hole he's got Adrian stashed in, he's got to go back there sometime. Okay, so that was kind of a bust. I'll, uh, while editing, I'll uh, put up the correct answers on the screen. Sure left his drink in a hurry. I bet he wishes he'd rehearsed that story better now. Now would be a bad time to forget how to drive, Cole.
right here. Dude just ran a red light. What the hell? I mean, okay, talk about hypocrisy. I just said this. Where are you taking us, Mr. Morgan? Get it killed someone. Too close, Phelps. Way too close. And he pulled over, no? Check the place out. Come on. Day one of the big time, and you're already tailing drunks home from bars. You having fun yet? I told you it was non-stop glamour working traffic, didn't I? I'm just trying to learn. Oh, come on, Phelps. Save the creepy teacher's pet stuff for Leary. It won't work on me. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Oh, okay. F. Morgan, apartment two. Apartment two. Okay, let's go. All right, let's pay our friend a visit. See if one to four is on the left, so that's one. This one's two. Hell is that? Oh my god, he's relax? right here. We don't Jesus, even need Adrian, to interview the you wife. Clear. I'll get it. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. It's over, Morgan. Mr. Black? LAPD, give yourself up now. I knew it. Phelps, Let's go after him. I'll try and hit him off in the car. Remember, the gun is the last resort. Okay, so we kind of no skipped the running, wife's Adrian. interview, but okay. Oh, he did run track. Mr. Black, get back here right now. It's over, Adrian. Stop right there, Adrian. Why not just come clean with her, Black? Why the melodrama? I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're going to lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. That turned out to be quite some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up and you learn from Bukowski here, and you could go a long way in this department. Oh, we missed one clue? Frank Morgan would have rolled over on Adrian Black with some tougher questioning. He was lying then about a couple of the, of the other stuff. That's that's interesting. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> Moving on. Okay, we're gonna keep this short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps, Bukowski. We got a report of a brand new Packard abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd Street between Olive and Grand. PR is one Oswald Jacobs says the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. 
There's a patrolman on site. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Any questions? Good. Get going. <laughs> he didn't even give any time for questions. He's like, all right, whatever. Good. Go. Better go earn our pathetic wages. Rimsky, O'Halloran. Intelligence has information on a stolen car racket. An abandoned vehicle. We catch all the good ones, huh, Phelps? Sounds like there's more to it than that. Nobody dumps a shiny new Packard unless they borrowed it without asking. You don't say. You're on fire today, Einstein. Very funny. Come on, my intense protege. Let's go save the world. Take the next right. You hear about Adrian? Brought in Seattle, threw him out. Wife says she's gonna take him back. Right up ahead. Women generally show more talent. Adrian jumped on the street. I'm gonna step up there. Hard to shot at five. Five comes to four and five. Talk about the experience. Turn left up ahead. Take the next left. Um, I'm gonna say we should go up here and then go right. And we're here. I'm Officer Houlihan. Cars down the alleyway, detectives. We got a call about an abandoned vehicle? Yes, sir. The car has flags. Might be some kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone touched this vehicle since you arrived? No. And that Jacob's bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Sure, take your time. He's a sore-headed old son of a bitch anyway. Missing we'll have to use the registration to trace the owner. Okay, go to A. Oh, Argentina. I must have taken the flag as a souvenir. Can't have any street value. It's owned by the Argentinian Embassy. The lie detector's out of paper and ink. Top it up, will you? Empty. Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. The car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. I don't think so. There's something here. Combination wrench. Must have used it to remove the wheel lugs. There's got to be something else. Because the music didn't end. Uh, I mean, yeah, we can just call. 
Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, detective? Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. One moment. Dewey Brothers Packard Dealership, 629 Figueroa Street. Got it. Thanks. We're missing something still, though. Could there be something else here? Oh, what? Not much help. What are we missing? Where'd my partner go? What is he looking at? Circumstantial. Okay, um, I'm just going to move on to the investigation, or to the questioning, because I don't think there's anything else. Oswald Jacobs. Uh, okay, here we go. That's right. What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. Anyways, last night I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. Yeah, that's, that's a bit of a lie. You went out to the car. Once they were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. I was curious. Ain't a law against that. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. Hmm. Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. I'm gonna say truth. You look like the kind of guy who notices details. You're right there. The car was old, but it looked brand new. Candy apple red paint job stands out a mile. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. No, because the missing Argentinian flag. Why did you take the license plate? Me? What would I do with license plates? You saying I have them? License plates, band end.
Uh, I'm gonna say because of this. No, that's around in that book will prove nothing. You should show me some respect. Thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. You can speak to Officer Tabo about signing a formal statement. When you get the car out of the way, maybe you could come back and do something about those kids. Well, how about we bring you an umpire's mask? Jacobs dumped the book he was reading in a hurry when we walked up. You curious what he didn't want us to see? Oh, there we go. Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle, a degenerate. I'll run John Madsen by R&I. Oh, I Contact details on a William Dewey. This looks like business rather than pleasure. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Can you put me through to Michigan 2458, please? Connecting you now. Hello, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's at school, officer. Um, what's this about? Is he in trouble? How old is your boy, ma'am? Just turned 16. Wrong person, Mrs. Matson. Sorry to disturb you. Any messages? There's just one message for you, Detective. A four-door Packard diplomatic license number, Paul Robert 706, was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Could you have him brought in? He's already here at Central, Detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. Thanks. Can you get a message to Captain Leary? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Thanks for your help. Can you cordon off this lot until we have the vehicle impounded? Yes, sir, Detective. We'll follow up on the owner. Get a statement from Jacobs, and I'll read your report back at the station. We can visit the Packard dealership or head back to Central and interview this Valdez character. Your call. Let's go back to the. Let's go to the dealership because I feel like we can get some more information out of that. Stop! Turn back the other way. This has got to be the fiftieth abandoned vehicle call we have caught this year. One more, and I'm gonna go crazy. Keep going on this road. Not your favorite cases? Straight over. You kidding me? This is barely even police work. Of all the bad guys in this city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal. Okay, that was pretty Try terrible. making it to the next intersection without killing anybody. Can you do that for me? You're taking the next right. Go right. Oh, it's so it's like right there. And then a left here. Let me guess. You were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four door, and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, I can't say as I blame you. 
LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, detective. But I know how we can find out. Follow me. This dude is such a cartoon. We keep all our tools in here. Mind if we look around? Be my guest. You sure you guys aren't interested in a new car? Huh? Maybe a used car. I have some nice used cars for guys in your wage bracket. Why don't you give us some alone time, Dewey? Go sell some cars or whatever it is that you do here. Oh, oops. That's not right. One left. Wrong size. There we go. Gabriel Delgado is missing a three quarter. It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. This doesn't pertain to the case. No good. We need diplomatic plates. I feel like that's all for this room. Can we talk to this guy underneath? No, we can't. Okay. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Packards are great cars, but this doesn't look like the kind of place favored by foreign embassies. How do you know Valdez? I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. All I know is he must know a quality car when he sees one. I feel like he's telling the truth there. Okay, this was just no. Driving by, and he saw the car. Yeah, something like that. Happens all the time. Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. He sure as hell isn't here. Address, Dewey. 
or my partner shoves her head in a car door. Okay, all right. Apartment 3, 103 Hill Street. And tell him from me, if he ever shows his face around here again, I'm going to kick his butt from here to kingdom come. A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. Even bastards to steal anything the minute your back is turned. What are you hiding, Dewey? Spill it. You don't want the LAPD getting too interested in this place. So I hire a few illegals. It's cheaper than hiring returning GIs. And they have less attitude. Downside is they're a little light thing. Thank you for your help, Mr. Dewey. No problem. God damn that kid. I'm just an honest car salesman. Seems like you just don't know who you can trust these days. Going to movies, Dewey. You're missing your calling. Time to visit Gabriel Delgado. See how good his excuse is.